What is up, man? 25 Gamers. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the Back to Basics Part 2. And uh, today's video, we are talking all about your three headed rushing attack and what I love for three headed rushing attack in this season. And I love, uh, for my uh, money, the best three headed rushing attack. Uh, in Man NFL 25 is to get three headed rushing attack from only two plays so that you don't have to use uh, several audibles. So we're going to be using a play out of the 34 solid one popular play, the Trio Sky Zone, to showcase this run play. But what I really like about um, my running game in this in this year is to have a play uh, specifically like from a single back. So we're going to take a look here from a single back big formation. This is just a, a topic. It, it doesn't have to be for you the same that it is for me. It's the concept bef more so than um, the actual play itself. But as you can see here, we have in our three-headed rushing attack, we're going to have the ability to run to the right, the left, and the middle of the formation. Now, another thing I like for my three-headed rushing attack is to have it in conjunction with my personnel for my base formation. So, for example, if I'm running the Minnesota playbook, my three-headed rushing attack is the single back dice slot in combination with a shotgun trips and a shotgun doubles that I run jet sweep both ways and then that single back uh, dive. And you can onboard those formations very quickly uh, if you set your personnel up right, etc. But that's a little bit more of an advanced version. And so what I want to give to you today is some uh, the ability to have like a single back ace where you can have uh, any single back ace that has a halfback stretch will work or even a halfback zone weak or an off tackle or some kind of run like that. And uh, here we see in the Minnesota playbook we have the single back off tackle. And most uh, single back ace formations that are audible down uh, is the halfback dive. I've actually got my audible set up so that I can have the zone weak in combination with the stretch. But what this does is it gives our form, it gives us the ability to attack a defense. So here, for example, uh, it seems like they're a little bit weak on that left edge. So we're going to flip this run. And that's another reason we like the single back ace is because you can flip the run without the formation moving. As you see here, no one moves when I flip this run. That makes it very effective. And now in this situation, I see that they're a little bit weak on the right. So I'm going to run it right. And I'm going to go up and get some positive yards with Giovanni Bernard. All right. And then uh, let's take a look at some other examples here. So say your opponent is spreading out and trying to stop that halfback, uh, halfback stretch or halfback off tackle or halfback zone weak or whatever. Well, we'll just check down to our halfback dive or our inside run. And again, we can flip it to wherever we want to run it to. And you see, we want to run it to the left. And we're going to run it, run it, run it, run it, run it. Now, one thing that I, I don't have set up in this quick audible playbook, just because I haven't set it up, most single back aces will have the HB dive as the run audible down default. I actually had changed that and made it the ATL zone weak just because I really like that run uh, overall. But see here, the, the halfback dive is more of a direct run. And so that's going to attack the middle of the field. But it can attack the middle of the field left and the middle of the field right. So that they're, if they're ever weak on one side, you can now attack. Um, and then again with the stretch, if they're weak on the right side of the field, well, then we can run the stretch to the right side of the field. If they're weak on the left side of the field, well, we can run the stretch off the left side of the field. And so what's really going to have to happen is they're going to have to have pure balance in the running game. And even at then, um, just those, those three little run plays are very effective. So something that the defense might do to stop this is something like this. They, they bring the safeties down. Once, well, once they start bringing the safeties down, I like to have a play action play in my three headed rushing attack. Uh, it doesn't really matter, again, what formation. It's just uh, kind of a concept. And you see that that deep post or some kind of deep route uh, that does a good job against zone or man to man coverage. And that route off of that play action uh, does a very good job at beating man coverage. Um, a couple of other things as well that you want to look for uh, in a running formation is you want to have. Uh, I like to have a tight end because a tight end has the ability to be unbumpable and so you can do some quick passes to him uh, at the snap of the ball, some, some little zig routes or, or out routes or quick passes like that uh, that you couldn't normally do. Another thing I really like to look for is routes like this out of the Z spot play um, in which the running back is on this little angled, uh, little angled swing pattern and you see at the snap of the ball I can get that ball out quick and uh, get it upfield if it's zoned. All these things are things to look for uh, when trying to find that, that three-headed rushing attack. Uh, but most specifically, guys, I really like to have the ability to run left, to run right. And I really, really enjoy having the ability to do that uh, without having to playmaker. Uh, so if you see, that the cool part about this is I never have to playmaker. Um, 
as you see here, if I want to, if I want to flip it to the right, I'll just flip it. But if I want a playmaker, I can still playmaker as well. But I don't recommend that because when you playmaker, it's a little bit more obvious that you're going to be focusing on a run. Now there are obviously ways to get around that, but we like to teach uh, at my YouTube channel here. I like to teach that in general, you want to use be able to flip. And when you're able to flip, it's a lot quicker of a transition. And you can also flip uh, when in, you cannot uh, flip uh, like trips formations or something like that. And so that's where playmaker comes in. And yes, you can playmaker, but I would suggest uh, to simply to simply have this in your audibles. And, and it really is a very good running set. Uh, it's one of the best running sets in the game that nobody talks about, nobody uses. Uh, it seems like anymore, but the single back ace is the most balanced offense in Madden 25 uh, because of its ability to have that unique three head rushing attack with only two audibles as well as the two unbumpable tight ends. It's just a lot to cover, and uh, that's what I like to look for for my three headed rushing attack. So, if you enjoyed this video, please leave us some feedback in below as far as if you had any problems, questions, comments, or concerns with the video uh, and the way that we have been kind of going in YouTube lately. Also, guys, uh, I really would appreciate it if you can uh, retweet this video on Twitter. Uh, follow me on Twitter and follow me on um, I think I even have a, a Google Plus page. So follow me on those two pages for more updates. I'm going to be trying to do uh, some more tweeting, uh, getting more interactive with you guys on social media and also if you have any questions that you want broken down on our question of the week segment, you can leave those questions with the hashtag uh, question of the week on Twitter and, and tweet at me at Mantips365. Thank you guys for your time and remember if you have any questions, comments, suggestions or problems with this video, please hit me up in the comment section below and also remember that we do have other videos coming today we are finally back on our four video day schedule and i cannot wait to see what things we're going to accomplish in this schedule thank you guys for your time today and we will see you guys later